This is one of the best food cities in the world. Now, the one thing about it is you're gonna find a lot of tourist traps, a lot of places that are just okay. You gotta do your research to find the good places. And we did just that, so we're gonna show you all of our recommendations on what to eat here in Barcelona, starting with breakfast. This is what a sweet breakfast in Barcelona looks like. We've got some churros here, and then these are melindros. They're basically like a biscuit with a little bit of icing on top, and then it would not be complete without a beautiful mug full of chocolate. Look at that. How is this breakfast? The history of churros is kind of fuzzy, but what really made this famous in Spain was in the 1500s when the Spanish Inquisition was happening, the conquistadors would bring back cacao to Spain and they would sweeten it, and that's really where churros con chocolate came from, or started to be popular. Pretty good idea, I'd say. <laughs> now I want to try the lindros. Oh, it's so light. Well-rounded breakfast, I'd say. We've made our way into Mercat de la Boqueria, this big open market hall where you're gonna see paella, jamón, all of the big things you'll see in Spain as far as the actual cuisine. But we're here for one thing and one thing only. Definitely not something I would think about for breakfast, but it is absolutely delicious. It's got white beans, squid, and this like balsamic glaze on top. It all blends together so nicely. The beans kind of absorb the fishiness or the seafood taste. It's salty, delicious. I think absolutely nothing looks more appetizing than the jamón, the Spanish ham. It's basically just a pig's leg hanging up like that. It's cured meat, so they just shave it right off. Sydney thinks it looks a little strange. Appetizing, right? No, this Marco Hall is full of fresh fruit and vegetables, all these vibrant colors, and Max is drawn to the jamón. We talked about jamón in our Madrid content, but just to brush up on it again, this ham comes from Iberia. If you find it on the menu, it's gonna say jamón ibérico. And the thing about jamón is it can be quite expensive because it's like the best ham in the world. What's great about this is it's just a little cone filled with manchego cheese and jamón. It's a great way to try jamón at a little bit discounted price. This was $6.50. So let's get a shot. Mm. Jamón's my favorite. It's so good. So in Italy, it's all about prosciutto, but here in Spain, it's all about jamón. And they are very different. It's similar in the fact that they're cured meat, but very different in taste. So the next delicacy we're gonna be trying is horchata. This is actually a little bit different than the horchata you're probably familiar with from Mexico. This one is a little bit more rich in vitamin C and E because it's extracted from tiger nuts. Now, if you had to look up what tiger nuts is, me too. Horchata is a summer drink. It's supposed to be very refreshing. It's actually a Valencian specialty. It's not from Barcelona specifically, but very popular here in Barcelona because of its proximity to Valencia. Let's go try it. Hola. Hola. Uh, una horchata? We just stopped in at La Campana. I've never had horchata, so I don't really know what to expect. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. It's like a sweet, watered down milk. And that probably doesn't sound very appetizing. I can see why people think that it quenches the thirst. It's like just what I need right now. This is really good. These are patatas bravas. It's one of the most popular tapas you will find. Basically, it's roasted potatoes with this red kind of spicy sauce on top of it. What's special about patatas bravas here in Barcelona is that they also have this garlic aioli on top as well. If you get them in Madrid or anywhere else, it's usually just gonna be with the red sauce. Barcelona likes to add that little extra aioli. So let's see how these taste. The sauce is so spicy, and then the aioli kind of cools it down. It's a perfect combo. That aioli is so garlicky. Even with the spicy sauce, the garlic comes through. These might be as perfect as this dish gets. 
This tapa is a Barcelona staple because it's actually something that's pretty common in Spain in that it's a croqueta. Croquetas are like these deep fried, they're usually potatoes and cheese and then have little bits of jamón in them. The difference between that and this is that this has the brava sauce that we just introduced you to. So that spicy sauce that was on the potatoes also has the garlic aioli underneath. This version of the croqueta is called the bomba, which means bomb. <laughs> so basically the Barcelona bomb. It was invented at a place called La Cova Fumada, which is located in the La Barceloneta district. It's right by the beach. They have them all over now, and this is how they're always served. So first of all, anything with the brava sauce and the aioli together is incredible. This in particular though, it's so different than the croquetas we've had. Because usually it's mostly like the potatoes and cheese, you get little bits of hormone. This one has a lot more meat to it. It's almost like a, a meat and potato mix. This almost reminds me of a meatball. If a meatball was deep fried and had that crunchy outside. Anything with the bravo sauce and the aioli, you know it's gonna be good. The brava sauce is spicy here. We've had a few variations of the brava sauce at this point, but none as spicy as this. So we just looked at our check. The bombas dish is called the bombas atomica, so it must be particularly spicy. Mascarpone croissant. This is the thing to get apparently at this patisserie. Wow, the butteriness of the croissant with the slightly sweet mascarpone filling, crumbly crunchies outside. I was kind of just expecting like the croissant version of cannoli, but it's more than that. Wow, the croissant by itself would be good. The mascarpone is just an added bonus. Okay, so the tapas continue. It's obviously a very important part of any Barcelona food tour. We got these grilled prawns here, which have a green sauce on top. Looks mostly like oil, probably some garlic, and some coriander. They, of course, come with the entire shell on them. And this is a Spanish tortilla. Tortilla in Spain is not the flour wrap that you think of for like a burrito or an enchilada. It's actually an omelet. It's got some eggs, some potatoes, some onions in it, and it's one of Sydney's favorite things. So when we first ordered our tortilla, we had no idea what it was. But we ordered it blind and we found out that it was an omelet with just gorgeous potatoes, onions. It's hard on the outside but gooey in the middle. Perfect way to have eggs in my opinion. Onion and eggs are one of the perfect food combinations to me. They're so good, so flavorful. I wish I was better at this. All that for a shrimp. Pretty delicious though. Worth the work. So we're on our way for our final stop here on our Barcelona food tour and it's the number one thing you have to get here while you're in Barcelona and I bet you can guess what it is. Seafood paella right by the beach. This is the ultimate Barcelona experience. As you can see, we have pretty much every single kind of seafood you can imagine. We have shrimp, little crab legs here, mussels, clams, pieces of fish. It's all mixed into this beautiful rice. This is not our first paella in Spain, we've had a few of them now, but in Madrid it's a little different. In Madrid it's more focused on like the saffron rice, a lot of times you'll have mixed with chicken and seafood. Here in Barcelona it is all about the seafood. As you can see it's just piled on here. And what I think is interesting is basically all of it, the shrimp, the crab legs, all of the shells, they're, they're all still on there because that is part of the flavor. We're gonna have plenty of work to do to get to the best parts. So this is all of the work we've done to get to the seafood. We made some discoveries along the way. This is a lobster. It's like a baby lobster, I guess, because it's pretty small. But you see how the tail is shaped. That's definitely a lobster tail. We weren't sure at first when we saw the claws. We're like, wait, do, sh do shrimp have claws? No, they absolutely don't. But these, these lobsters do. 
And we also found that there are calamares, like little squids, in the rice itself. So we found some of those. There's also huge pieces of squid like this one. That's probably one of my favorite parts. I think overall my favorite was the mussels. We really, really enjoyed those. But actually, one of the best parts of paella is when you get to the end here. These, in my opinion, are the best part of the paella because you kind of have to scrape the rice off the side. So you just gotta really dig in, get all of those crispies off. Go all the way around, get all of them. I'll give Sid a scoop here. Gracias. So those bits are extra crispy, and those are my favorite parts because just the crispiness adds a little bit to it. It's like a little surprise or a little prize you get at the end. Just a little extra crunch to it. Love it. Thank you, Barcelona, for an incredible day. One thing we can absolutely say with certainty is that you will not go hungry here. There are so many options, so much good food, and we had so much fun bringing it all to you. What a great food city to explore. Now, if we miss anything that you think needed to be included in this video, please leave it in the comments below for future use. Yeah, let us know because I'd love to come back here. Absolutely. All right, see you in the next video. Check out our newsletter.